Hi, welcome to the Fix It Shop. I'm your host, Charlie Byers. Today we're going to talk about concrete masonry units. And these are important to understand when we're dealing with building layout and foundations because these literally are the building blocks of the foundation. No pun intended. But in order to understand what I have in front of me, we need to understand some real basic dimensions. First of all, blocks vary in the width. That's from the front to the back. So we have our cores here at the top facing up. So when the cores are facing up, we look at this dimension across the top. This is going to be as little as four inch. Then it will be either six, eight, 10, or 12, depending on what size block you're working with. So typically a six inch block would be nominally six inches across here. Truth be told, everything in construction is not what it really appears to be. And even masons, it's the same. It's five and five eighths, but we call it a six inch block. Now, the height of every block, no matter how wide it is, is always going to be figured at eight inch with mortar. So we have a seven and five eighth unit dimension. We'll have three eighths of thick mortar underneath it as we're building the wall. It'll give us a course height finish eight inches per course. Same way with the length. No matter how wide the block is, four, six, eight, 10, or 12, they're all with one mortar joint, one head joint, going to be 16 inches. So from the back of this block to the block back of the next block that's laid in line is gonna give me a total of 16 inches. Now, why is this important? Because we talked about elevations and using a story pole and using a builder's transit or even using a laser level to establish the height our block's going to sit on for what we call the top of the footer. Now, footers can be level all the way around all four sides of the building, or they can step down and step back up depending on what we have to do with grade conditions. But anytime a footer changes in elevation, top of one footer to the top of the other footer has to be an eight inch increment. Why? Because when we lay this block down and we put our mortar underneath the low footer and start building it up, when we get to however many eight inch increments we've offset the footer, top of this block's got to match the top of the next footer in step. If it doesn't, the masons are going to be really upset with us. Now I've had it on a job already where the step in the footer from one level to the other turned out to be seven inches instead of eight. That meant the masons had to take every block that they needed to lay on that lower footer and cut the inch difference off of it so that it wasn't sticking an inch above the top of the next raised footer. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of problems. That's a lot of time and money being wasted. And I always say the most two important things on the job are time and money. Because if I'm saving time and I'm producing a product that I'm actually making money on, I'm going to have a happy customer in the end. So I hope you enjoyed this segment on concrete masonry units and how helpful it is to understand basic block size so that we and you alone can also understand how to lay out footers that may have steps in them because nothing in the world is going to be straight and flat all the way around. It just doesn't happen. 